All right, so here's my third attempt. I hope the microphone is not going to keep cutting out on me this time. But yeah, to quickly answer your question, let me just recreate. So sort of you have a, a currently an object that looks something like this, where you have like your rigid body and um, capsule collider and a, and a player script or something like that. Uh, or maybe you have a couple of scripts on there. And what you want to do, uh, first I'm going to reset the string, and you probably have this also at one, something like that. Which is something I really don't like, by the way, because this uh, origin point is now floating one meter in the air. Anyways, so there's two options. You can either try this and create as a parent, and that makes this capsule now a child of the other one, but you will see there is a completely messed up... Um, positioning in there so let's undo that and now the easiest way would be to just create a child empty I'll just call this player and then I'll drag it out and drag the capsule in there now I do want to reset that, that height because it doesn't make any sense and we'll make this visualization thing go up by one now basically we're back to where we were except now it's a child and what you'll want to do next is either re-add these components to the actual player object here. Oh, not the 2D one, that's the wrong one. The rigid body and maybe a capsule collider. And you'll notice that that is completely messed up, but it needs to be two meters tall and the offset will now be one. That'll be in the right place. Now we can remove this, remove this. Alternatively, if you have changed settings, let's uh, say, for example, I already had some settings saved here. Um, I don't know why, but let's say you want to make sure that these settings also get uh, uh, stay the same. You could just right click, copy a component, right click, paste as new, and it will remember the values. I don't really have any values on my scripts, apparently. Um, but yeah, that would work as well. So you just copy that and paste it in here as new. And we'll remove them from here. And now this um, capsule thing is really just a graphical representation and the actual player object is the parent which is essentially empty and you could technically just turn off the graphics and it wouldn't matter. It would still work. It would still collide with things. You would still have all your scripts on it and what would not. Um, and yeah, from here you would then just be able to grab a regular model, put that on there. In my case, I'll also have to drag in material and that would all work the only thing you would still have to deal with with a model is uh, with the animator component so you would be able to either copy this one and paste it here um that would work or in your scripts instead of, instead of um uh, get component which would only look for the animator component in the list of components of the actual player object, you would change it into get component in children. And that would then also be able to find the one on the model. Downside of that is that if you have multiple, let's say you would have a second one, which, whoops, didn't want to do that. Let's say you have a second model and that one is a, uh, Let's just pretend it's a male one. There. Let's say you have a second model on there and you want to be able to let the player choose whether or not they are on the male one or on the female one and enable or disable them at will. Um, you would have an animator here and an animator here. And um, you would have to make sure that the... Um, um, reference here is the correct one and you wouldn't 100% know for sure which one you're gonna get a reference of when you're doing the um, get component in children usually it will be the first one but let's just say for some reason at runtime you don't know which one is going to be enabled and whatnot 
So in that case, you would want to make sure that there's actually a, uh, oops, serialize field um, on the player. Uh, it now has to compile again. So now we actually have an animator field here and we can either just drag that one in there or if you want to use that one, we drag that one in there. That way the, um, the player script will have access to whichever one is relevant and you can change that at runtime through code as well. But yeah, that would be my, uh, my suggested solution. And in this particular case, uh, I did not update the uh, radius, but uh, you probably want to change the radius of your ladder to be a little bit more appropriate for the actual model. And that would be the only thing you would have to change um, when you're swapping out things. You, you could also put the um, capsule collider on the actual model so that uh, it's the correct size for this one and let's say the male one has to be slightly bigger just like this graphics thing would, would require a bigger one but you would have other problems um, later on in script when you're let's say trying to um, get an on collision enter event being triggered like you want to respond to actually colliding with something, this would not work if the collider is on a child object, as far as I know. So you would have to then have the script with the logic that deals with this also on the, on the same object that actually has the collider. But that's a story for another time. I hope at least the um, other stuff was answered. And I'm sure you'll have more questions. Just drop them in Infensia's uh, Discord and I'll uh, see if I can get to them. All right, hope it helped. Bye-bye.